Hey everybody, Chris Renshaw here again from OCDcast.com here with another great game review. Doing another Munchkin review again today and last week I talked about Axe Cot, but uh, I wanted to talk about the other. Uh, when I got that game from Steve Jackson, they also sent along a free copy of uh, Munchkin Conan, which is one of the latest, I believe, it's if not the latest thing. Um, Munchkin Apocalypse just came out, but before that was Munchkin Conan. came out in July, I think. Um, this is, of course, related to the Conan the Barbarian games, and, or uh, comics and video uh, movies. So, uh, right off the front, I gotta warn you guys, I don't really know that much about Conan. Uh, I have not really seen, I've only seen bits and pieces of the movies, never really read the comics, so I have not fully gotten into that universe very well so I obviously um, right off the front I didn't get a lot of the jokes and comments but I'll go into that a little bit later um, basically this game is very much stylized like the original Munchkin like a lot of the 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 backs of the comics or the backs of the cards even look like the original Munchkin set I you can tell that this set was designed to be easily merged with the original Munchkin set um, you've got your standard classes like cleric, warrior, thief, wizard that you would normally have in Munchkin. And then instead of your regular races like dwarf, elf, um, halfling, etc., this time you've got like something that races is like nations almost. So you got Zamorian, um, Kushite, Chimerian. And Stygian, I hope I'm saying those right. I really do. So, uh, basically, they get they give it a little bit more of a Conan feel, but at the same time, you really do feel like you're playing almost a a a newer version, almost I would kind of say, or a different version of the original Munchkin. But at the the one big difference that this game has over the original Munchkin is the addition of a birthright which is something unique to the, the Conan universe. Mainly there are two birthrights. There is the Noble, which allows you to have one extra comrade, and there's the Barbarian, which is pretty awesome. You may ignore all usable buy or non-usable buy restrictions. You use whatever you want. And uh, now when you get your birth, you can only have one birthright, and you keep you can't trade out your birthright. You're stuck with it once ever you play it. So unless there's, of course, as much can goes, there's always a card that allows you to lose it, blah, blah, blah. But um, these cards were a hit when I played. I, I played Munchkin Conan with some friends. Um, Philip was in that game, and he became a barbarian. He loved. He he loves this card. In fact, he wants me to put this <laughs> put these cards in with some of the other Munchkin sets we play because just he loves the fact that he can just use whatever he wants. So he's constantly bringing that up. So the birthrights are definitely a big hit with the the group of guys I was playing with. They really loved the those birthrights. And of course, you have also got like a little bit of Munchkin, or you got a little bit of Conan in all the other cards, including the the obvious. What is best in life? Leveling up. We're not. You don't just get one level. You get two. Gain two levels. So, um, like I said, really. But it's really designed so that you could folk, you can mix this in with a regular Munchkin, and it wouldn't be. It's designed to mesh well with it. You don't really have a big of a rules problem as you do with some of the other games. Uh, you couldn't even tell if you just mix them in because they've all got the same backs on them. So that's a plus. The 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 birthrights are a plus. Some of the jokes that I do get just from you knowing what little bit I do, I I really enjoy. Uh, downsides is of course with something themed like this if you don't know that theme very well you're not gonna get as much this one you don't really get as much out of it um, just because you don't understand some of the jokes I mean they kind of may are they you 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 could see that they're making a reference to something but at the same time you're like okay I get that's a reference to something but I don't know what so um, I was a little that's not it that's not a just nothing against the game the game is definitely fun not not my favorite Munchkin set, but that's because of these limitations. It's and that's more of a limit. That's more of a fault of mine because I have not, you know, I did not do my research per se I, <laughs> to getting into that milieu. So if you are a big Conan fan or that si kind of dark uh, or that sort of universe, then pick this game up. You're gonna love it. Um. All my friends that all, everybody, I was pretty much the only person that didn't know Conan. 
everybody else was a would knew a lot more about Conan than I did, and they seemed to really enjoy the game. So if you're a big Conan fan, I'm sure you'll love it. There'll be there's links down at Amazon at the bottom where you can pick it up if it's interested. If it's interesting to you, you click on that. Uh, it doesn't cost you any extra, but we get a but you know I'll get a little bit of a kickback so I can help create awesome reviews like this. So thanks to Steve Jackson Games for giving me these two games to review, and thanks to you guys for continuing to watch these videos. And remember, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to email me, chris at ocdcast.com. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, facebook.com slash obsessivecomicsdisorder or twitter.com slash chrisstheprof. And uh, keep your eye out here for more awesome reviews. I got a whole stack of Munchkins that I still need to go through and review. And not just Munchkin, don't worry. Um, I've got a couple Munchkin videos out right now, but or work right now. But I've got other games that I'm working on, other reviews that I'm working on. Um, like to review some video game stuff, but I'm working on getting a little bit more uh, resources so it's not as crummy as if you, you saw the Halo 4 video that we did, where it was just the webcam at the TV. It's kind of sketchy. So I want to do some video game reviews, but I'm waiting to get some um, capture cards and stuff so I can get a little bit better video. So thanks, you guys, for watching, and I will see you next time.